for our next news special report. Breaking news, Patriots. The Biden campaign's latest dirty trick has just been exposed, and it's worse than we'd thought. They've launched a massive deception operation using fake websites and international bot armies to spread lies about Trump's agenda. But we've got the receipts, and we're blowing the scandal wide open. So stay tuned for the full story, including shocking evidence of election interference that will make your blood boil. Plus, don't miss our final thought on why this matters to every American. You will not believe what we've uncovered. And just as the Biden campaign is trying to manipulate public perception, there's another deception happening right under our noses. The weakening U.S. dollar is eroding your purchasing power while gold prices soar past $2,400 an ounce. This is not just about economics. It's about protecting your future from those who deceive you. Global Gold Investments understands this threat. Call that number on the screen, 888-700-4148 now, and mention Next News for their five-star treatment. They're offering a free portfolio analysis and their 2024 Ensure Your Wealth Preservation Guide. Don't let your financials fall victim to deception. Call 888-700-4148 or visit IRAgoldproof.com. The link is down below. Now let's get right into the meat of the scandal. The Biden campaign has just been caught red-handed in a massive deception scheme. They secretly registered the domain Trump Trump's Project 2025.com, trying to trick you into thinking Trump's behind this 900-page project. Well, it's a flat-out lie, folks. Look at this. Biden himself sharing this fake site, reaching over 1.5 million users on X. It's not just misinformation. It's deliberate disinformation. But it gets worse. We've uncovered evidence that Biden is using an international bot army to push his Project 2025 agenda. Watch. Is Joe Biden using bots in third world countries to push conspiracy theories about Donald Trump? So Joe Biden's official campaign Twitter claims that more and more people are searching the term Trump's Project 2025. So we decided to just check out who was searching it. We checked Google Trends and there's several big spikes, one on June 13th with 100% search popularity in Senegal, Africa. The term search popularity had another push yesterday in Senegal. At 10.04, it was at 0% popularity, and then 10.12, it spiked straight up to 100 and then straight back down. There were more pushes today. It peaks in countries like India, Ukraine, Bangladesh, and Vietnam, all places notorious for massive bot farms. In the past 30 days, in terms of countries who have actually searched the term, the US is the country where the term is the least popular. And it all just makes me wonder. Doesn't it make you wonder? See those spikes? That's not real people searching. That's bots from places like Senegal, India, and Bangladesh. The U.S. barely registers. It's a full-blown psyop, folks. Now, here's where it gets really rich. Just a day after Biden's team pulled this stunt, the DOJ sees two Russian domains for similar tactics. So where is the injustice? Why isn't the DOJ seizing Biden's fake domain? It's a blatant double standard. Now, let's set the record straight. Trump himself has made it crystal clear. He's got nothing to do with Project 2025, period. Okay? What Trump's really pushing is Agenda 47. Watch. My plan to dismantle the deep state and reclaim our democracy from Washington corruption once and for all, and corruption it is. First, I will immediately reissue my 2020 executive order restoring the president's authority to remove rogue bureaucrats, and I will wield that power very aggressively. Second, we will clean out all of the corrupt actors in our national security and intelligence apparatus, and there are plenty of them. The departments and agencies that have been weaponized will be completely overhauled so that faceless bureaucrats will never again be able to target and persecute conservatives. Christians or the left's political enemies, which they're doing now at a level that nobody can believe even possible. Third, we will totally reform FISA courts, which are so corrupt that the judges seemingly do not care when they are lied to in warrant applications. So many judges have seen so many applications that they know were wrong, or at least they must have known. They do nothing about it. They're lied to. Fourth, to expose the hoaxes and abuses of power that have been tearing our country apart, we will establish a Truth and Reconciliation Commission to declassify and publish all documents on deep state spying, censorship, and corruption. And there are plenty of them. Fifth, we will launch a major crackdown on government leakers who collude with the fake news to deliberately weave false narratives and to subvert 
our government, and our democracy. When possible, we will press criminal charges. Sixth, we will make every Inspector General's office independent and physically separated from the departments they oversee so they do not become the protectors of the deep state. Seventh, I will ask Congress to establish an independent auditing system to continually monitor our intelligence agencies to ensure they are not spying on our citizens or running disinformation campaigns against the American people, or that they are not spying on someone's campaign like they spied on my campaign. Eighth, we will continue the effort launched by the Trump administration to move parts of the sprawling federal bureaucracy to new locations outside the Washington Swamp. Just as I moved the Bureau of Land Management to Colorado, as many as 100,000 government positions could be moved out, and I mean immediately, of Washington to places filled with patriots who love America, and they really do love America. Ninth, I will work to ban federal bureaucrats from taking jobs at the companies they deal with and that they regulate. So they deal with these companies, and they regulate these companies, and then they want to take jobs from these companies. Doesn't work that way. Such a public display cannot go on, and it's taking place all the time, like with Big Pharma. Finally, I will push a constitutional amendment to oppose term limits on members of Congress. This is how I will shatter the deep state and restore government that is controlled by the people and for the people. Thank you very much. Now, that's the real deal announced back in March of 2023. It's about dismantling the deep state and giving power back to you, the American people. Now, watch this clip that breaks it down even further. Watch. What you got to say about Project 2025? Have you heard of Agenda 47? Say what? Agenda 47. No. Nah. It's the actual platform that Trump is going to push when he becomes president. It's listed on his official campaign website. Project 2025 is not to be found there. Matter of fact, Project 2025 was created by a conservative think tank named the Heritage Foundation. It's supposed to make it legal to be It has homeless. nothing to do with Trump. Trump has neither endorsed nor supported this platform. He has his own. But I saw on BET. I don't care what any Hollywood elite or BET awards show hosted by Taraji J.P. Henson have told you about Project 2025. It is not a talking point of President Trump's campaign, nor is it something that he's interested in. It's just another tool to fear among you and to just continue to vote for the same people over and over again and never breaking the cycle of chaos that we see within the black community. Once again, just look at the decades long of Democrat control over black cities. Uncle Tom. It makes sense, man. But listen, do you be mad at what you want to be mad at? But you ain't mad at Trump. Man, shut up, Coon. Wow. Now, Project 2025 isn't Trump's baby. It's from the Heritage Foundation, a conservative think tank. But Biden's team is trying to blur those lines. Even the Democrats are making fools of themselves. Check out this clip, an exchange between Ben Shapiro and Representative Eric Swalwell. Watch. Mr. Shapiro, thank you for joining us today. I think it is important that you're here um, as one of the leading conservative voices in the country. And, and the country has, in the last couple of weeks, talked a lot about and Googled uh, Prog Project 2025. It's one of the most Googled uh, search terms right now. And uh, you're not going to get any censorship from me. So uh, I just wanted to know from your perspective, I think it would help us understand on just like a scale of zero to 100 percent, how much do you support Project 2025? I think like President Trump, I haven't looked all that deeply at Project 2025, but it seems that Democrats on this committee, sort of like Peter Pan and Tinkerbell, uh, if they say Project 2025 enough, their presidential candidate becomes alive again. And so. Well, let's just talk about pieces of it, and you, I guess you can tell me if you support it. Um, you probably want less bureaucracy, right? I do. I want less bureaucracy. You want more efficiency? I do. I want less efficient, more efficiency. You want taxpayer money spent wisely? I do. Congrats on becoming a Republican. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My parents would be proud. Um, <laughs> Swalwell was left speechless. It'd be funny if it wasn't so serious. Now, some folks are asking for proof. Well, here it is. The Biden campaign 
legally has this closed that they paid for the site. It's right there in black and white. If you need more, just look at Biden's own X account right here. He's pushing this lie himself. So how much more proof do we need? Let's talk about double standards. You remember Douglas Mackey jailed over a meme, but Biden's team can register a domain in Trump's name, pack with lies and walk free. This isn't just unfair, it's un-American. This whole thing stinks to high heaven. The Biden campaign's playing dirty tricks, thinking they won't get caught, but we've got their number. If there's any justice left in this country, they'll face the same consequences as Mackey. Now, it's time to hold these people accountable. The DNC, Biden's campaign, all of them, they should be kicked off of acts for this blatant election interference. We can't let them get away with it. If you got value from this report, tap subscribe. My final thought is next. Patriots, what we've uncovered here isn't just dirty politics, it's a direct assault on our republic. The Biden campaign's willingness to deceive voters shows how desperate that they are to cling to power. They're not just spinning facts, they're fabricating an entire false reality. This should make you question everything that you're being told about the current political landscape. Who else is lying to you? What other truths are actually carefully crafted deceptions? Stay vigilant, stay informed, and never stop asking questions because our republic depends on it. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Now keep up your quest for truth with this next news report. And if you found our channel enlightening, join the millions who agree with you. Tap subscribe. Thank you for watching the Next News Network.